Okay, here's the good news and the bad news. The good news is my uh, previsioni, the forecast that I, I looked at was closer to the truth. It's not 40 centimeters, but uh, close to 20. The bad news is the tent still didn't make it. I just come home over there. I had to dig it out. I'm sorry. I I got up in the morning and I looked outside. It was I said okay. It was still dark at half past five, but it didn't look so bad, and it wasn't snowing at the time. So I said I'm gonna wait until it's light out, and I'm going over there to see and uh, clear off the snow. But when I got over there, there was snow to clear off, but unfortunately the the tent poles have bent and collapsed. Okay, it's definitely gonna break. It has a hole already when it's when you try to bend it back. It's already visible. So I guess it will be a complete. There's no point in making it warmer or something. Duct tape is the thing that fixes everything.
So I fear I didn't do an excellent job of centering the pole, but um, it is standing. And um, I try to do it most in the spirit of you, Martin. You try to work with local materials. So I used this iron pole that was on at my hut even before I came. So it is, has tradition, it is rooted in the area. And so I thought it would be a good substitute or something to sturdy up that bent pole or that broken pole, I should really say. I used uh, traditional duct tape. It's a traditional uh, building material whenever people don't have anything else. So duct tape, non-duct tape, duct tape, non-duct tape. It's, it's like life where things stick and some things don't. And with uh, the entrance that certainly doesn't look as if it probably should look that way. I'm sorry again, Martin. I fear a snowman would have done as good a job as I in saving your tent. I should have really gotten up in the night or, or gotten right here at, at 5, maybe I would have at 5.30. Maybe I could have still saved it, I'm not sure. But uh, for now, it shouldn't get worse. I'm gonna come over here again in a few hours to, to chuck off the snow. Things are looking good. Tent is standing, and I got replacement poles, so um, no problem there. There's a bit of damage on the the rubber ring that goes around the chimney. That makes it waterproof, but I can I think I can fix that with some tape or something. And uh, cabin's looking fine. 
Nice layer of snow. Water is frozen. I left the garden tap dripping, but um, there was a few nights where it was minus 10, I believe, Celsius. So uh, then you need to open it a little bit more. You need to keep an eye on it, otherwise it freezes. So that's what happened. Um, I, it might thaw out again in the coming days because it's getting a bit warmer. But I don't know where it's frozen. It might be there at the tab, but it might be next to the cabin where I was also uh, some connections above ground. But other than that, all good. It's beautiful.
duct tape doesn't stick in freezing weather, unfortunately. Okay, water is working. It's still just dripping. There's still a bit of ice in the pipe, but it will find its way out. Uh, with the shower, I have to wait because that's under the snow, and I'm pretty sure that's frozen. So, uh, but at least I've got running water here, so I'm good. sun half past three so there's a bit more light these days which is nice
Got a nasty cut. You know, that's all right. It's not very deep. When you're in demolition mode, you go too too fast, too far. So this painting I started a few months ago, it's actually my first painting, not the one that I previously sold, um, that was the one I finished it first, but this one I started earlier. Um, I want to add some more detailing, it's a little flat at the moment and a bit too dark in the tree, so I think I can work some things out. This is done from a photo, or actually a screenshot of one of the videos. And it's pretty accurate towards the screenshot, but as a painting it feels a little dull. So I want to just play with it a little bit to make it a bit more lively. I need to get some more fine brushes and some more of these. Um, yeah, it's going well. It's a little bit difficult to paint and film it because the camera's in the way. The light is not ideal. I need a bigger light and more. Well, this is the temperature is good, but um, mainly just the camera's in the way. But I have to film it, isn't it? Otherwise you guys can't see it.
Oh, the sun is nice. Reminds me of Mexico. That's where I was the past three weeks. I was a week in Amsterdam, spent Christmas with my parents and my brothers. And then Mexico, little holiday. It's one of my favorite countries from my bike trip. Um, I spent there six months last time. Most of the time in Mexico City, made a lot of friends there. Um, it's, um, it's a very green city. The climate is perfect. Uh, it's like always 25 degrees or a little more during the day and then in the night it cools off. Beautiful parks, beautiful architecture, kind of colonial art deco, especially neighborhoods like La Condesa, Roma Norte, Roma Sur. Um, yeah, it's really nice. You should watch the movie Bardo from, what was his name? Same director as The Revenant. Mexican director. Um, it's kind of a surreal movie, but it's it's quite beautiful. And it's shot in Mexico City, almost most of it, I think. Uh, spent some days at the sea in Oaxaca, Pacific Coast, and some time in tequila in a hacienda, where I started drawing again. I mean, I started oil paintings a while ago, but I made an ink drawing as well of the cabins, which is quite nice to do. A nice way to kill time. Um, and with the ink drawing, it's quite different. You start with the details and what's in the front, the main subject of the drawing, and then you finish it off with the background. With the oil paintings, it's the other way around. You start in the back, and you slowly move forward. Um, I'm drawing a landscape.
Getting very slippery here with the trampled snow turning into ice. It's also because the temperatures are quite high. Ten degrees Celsius in the morning. It's 10 a.m. Today's a warm day. And I believe Saturday was going to be 16 degrees Celsius. So in the sun it might be like 20, 25. 20 probably which is nice then the snow can melt quite a bit not everything I think there it will stay and then next week it's gonna be cold again maybe even the coldest week so far and a little bit of snow maybe as well we'll see
It's been a really beautiful week. Glad to be back. A lot of work done. Yeah, it's nice.